Welcome to this episode of Full Send. I'm Kiefer, that's Juan, and we have Kate from Diamond Sea. What's up, guys? Going on, the Cadillac of Cadillacs, the trailer. Straight to the point, this what you do and what you don't do. No bullshit, sugarcoat when it comes to repairs and maintenance. If I you can go to Full Send, no. Oh, it's a show going for you this year. It's going good, man. Uh, honestly, a lot of traffic, uh, but I'll be honest, it's day two. Right, starting to get a little tired, starting yeah. to feel it a little bit. Caffeine is not working it. at That's this right. point. Uh, yeah. m- more coffee, it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, <laughs> and you got a feet. whole source of coffee right there in the, sh- in the booth. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we're burning through it now. That, that coffee came in clutch yesterday morning after uh, the events of the events of the night before. Yes. Yeah. But okay, so what do you do for Diamond C? So I'm the brand manager. So. Um, what that means is it's kind of like I work directly with marketing. I work directly with sales and engineering. Kind of tie the three together, right? Because anything our brand touches is something that I want to be working with. So obviously all the things. So and did you come up with hashtag trailer nerd? I did not. So that's the thing. So, okay. So I've only actually been at Diamond C for a year. I, this is my one year anniversary. Oh. I started at the show. Dude, really? I started at the show uh, in 2018. Wow. I w- but were you trailer industry before? Nope. What were you, what were you doing before? IT infrastructure. Okay, so yeah. So s- super boring. <laughs> I, I did videos. Okay, right? yeah. Videos and photos, like freelance type stuff. Hey, come work for us. Okay, cool. Only person that knew I was hired was the owner of the company. The owner wow. and then Caitlin. Well, Caitlin found out when I walked wow. up. And... I had no idea. I thought trailers were just, you know, they, you drag them behind a truck, right? Yeah. That's all I knew. Yeah, absolutely. The and I get thrown in day that the one. Industry is. Yes. Day it's one, huge. I get thrown into this. Yes. And it's, I didn't know there are that many types of trailers. Yep. I didn't yeah. know there were that many functions of trailers. Yep. All the different I thought a options. hitch was a hitch. Yep. You know, oh, cool. Tires, no. Axles, no. It's like, that was five years ago. Yeah. Whatever 23 minus 18 is, yeah. bad math, me tired, works yeah. hard. Um, <laughs> more but, coffee. <laughs> yeah. Coffee more. Uh, oh, by the way, rocking the socks from Love last them. year. Love Woo! it. But, Love the DC socks. And I got my new pair. Awesome. But being thrown into this on day one and coming into the industry is like fresh eyes and you're now involved. Yes. This is massive. Yes. Yeah. And then you get paired with a company like Diamond C yes. who has like – a reputation for being one of the best, yes. innovative, and like y'all's people always, they're professional, friendly, but they still have the fundamentals. Fun. Ah, the fundamentals. That's right. Which the hats always were one of the fundamentals, I've noticed. A, a, a lot of hats. Serve hat, others. Uh, yep, serve one another. Uh, be different or not be different. It's a... Uh, Oh, I'm slacking here. It's have, okay. Right now on the back I, of our coffee, it's me- uh, measure twice, cut once. Yeah. So, Fundamental 12. So it's 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 kind of cool what y'all do. And y'all actually do an internal leadership podcast and some of that stuff. Yep. Um, I know last year, uh, Jeffrey called me out because I was like, I liked the window in the background. And he was like, you hate my studio. Thanks. I was like, <laughs> no, that's not what I said. I like the window. It showed space. Um, but this industry is amazing. Yes. And it's one of the few places, like we've heard it all day today, that your word is still your bond, that people are hospitable. They want to work together. It's not a cut edge, you know, a cutthroat industry where yep. I don't want nothing to do with you because you're in the same space as me. Yes. It's how can we do better? How can we serve each other? How can we build upon each other? Yep. And I think um, as a whole, Diamond C is a beautiful example of that. Um, y'all's involvement in NATDA, uh, what y'all are doing y'all's for the community. industry. Yeah, the community. Just there in Mount Pleasant, all the stuff y'all do is amazing. And it's, we brag, we, we're, we're Diamond C fanatics because in our podcast, we usually, every time we talk about branding and, and just uh, doing more for the community, is we're always using Diamond C as an example because yeah. y'all have set the bar so high for so many people. Um, to try to even match it, so. Yeah, well, thank you. I, I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, and it's it's honestly, it's a company that puts uh, a big premium on, on giving back to the community. So they've actually said, like, if you need, so I've had to take a half day before to volunteer at my at my son's work. Company's like, good, glad you're giving back to the, to the community. Just fed right back into it, right? So that's just honestly the kind of people that they are. And like you said, I, I, I come into this industry blind, don't know. I know that I, I wanted to be a part of working with the crabs, right? I know I, I met them. 
realize how good of people they are. But coming into the industry and see the relationships and the things that they have built over the years and the name that the Diamond C has built. Uh, 100%. I, it was fantastic to be handed a brand like Diamond C, right? <laughs> well, your job's already done at that point. Yeah. That's why it's like, uh, Jacob's kind of killing it, so I'm really stepping into some uh, a really nice situation. Yeah, the and shoes his, are big. And his uh, <laughs> title changed this yeah. last year. What is he now? He is Chief Brand Officer. Chief CBO. CBO, yes. Chief 3PO. Star Wars. I know. I, I, I was trying to do, I lean into this because like you're speaking my love language, which is nerdism. <laughs> but I was like, I, I, no, I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. So being part of Diamond C, yep. we've had a lot of interaction with them over the years. You know, we're like me, me and Brian, we always catch up at these events and we, we always say that, hey, you know, we need, we're only two hours apart. We need to do something together. We yes. need to do something together. But we never do. It's just I know. until the next time. <laughs> I know. I, I mentioned to, to Jacob that last year, I believe, is, you know, because I, I know y'all do a softball. Y'all did a softball term, I think, last year. Y'all do it yearly, something like that. And yeah. I was like, well, we do a softball tournament, too. Hmm. But in we this 115-degree weather... I will. Po we should postpone if we do it until like December <laughs> when yes. it's nice and cool. But uh, being handed a brand like that to be able to work with, as I'm, I'm the creative director for our company. Yep. And you know we have some brand awareness, we have some reach, but it's not. I wish it was as solid as Diamond C's, but being being handed here you go. One that's got to be a burden, <laughs> but <laughs> a little at the stressful. Same, a little stressful, just, that bit. That just, bit. just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but then there's so much you can do with that. Yes. So, give us some details about some of the stuff that you've worked on that you're doing or you're going to do. I know we're gonna get some of the other other stuff here in a moment, but okay. like you personally, like what 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 have you been doing and what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, it's just keeping keeping going what they've already started, right? Uh, they've already done so many good things, and it's just like, how can we start taking things to the next level? Right, because we have such a solid foundation. All the videos that Jacob has done over time, right? That's a, honestly that's how I learned about the industry. I watched Jacob's videos, right? right? Ditto. Yeah. So uh, one of the new things that we're working on right now, um, that's just just came live on our website, is going to be. It's actually powered by Equipment Trader, uh, but it's an embedded marketplace, so that no matter where you are, so you're, you're in Madisonville, right? As soon as you log on to our site and you look up inventory, it grabs your your zip code and immediately gives you the live inventory within Other your range. Dealers? Yep. That's cool. Nice. And it's going to behave just like Equipment Trader would, but right there within our very own website without having to leave or go, go anywhere. On, go I want a another, Diamond C yeah. trailer. I don't have to go search for a dealership. I don't have to go search Facebook Marketplace for a used... It's it's right there. Yep. That nice. is that, That's innovation. And that's Industry like, changing because that makes it so much easier for the end consumer. Yeah, absolutely. And that also promotes your dealers. Yep. <clears throat> because now they have a place if they're if they're repping your brand and repping your trailers, they don't uh, have to put out ad dollars. Yeah, that, that, that's a great point. And, and you know, it's it's also uh, you, you don't have to worry about maintaining your website as much, yeah. right? So this yeah. is something that's like maybe maybe you're a dealer who honestly we just our website's not that great. Well, don't worry, we can kind of help bridge that gap, right? Wow. And, uh, and make a smoother transition. Not only that, it helps them. I know a lot of the dealers, some of their pain points that they've been talking is being stuck with some of these these older older inventory, but that there will allow them to, to get that old inventory out of their out of their ways, but that way the customer can see what they have. Yeah. Absolutely. So, that's that's game changer. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it seems like something simple, yes. right? But it will have and such it's always a big those impact. Simple things that that small little niche that's Game changer. Like we were talking to Britton Webb um, with WebRes, and he has done trailer uh, trailer dealerships for twenty something years, and he got fed up with having to use seven different pieces of software to yeah. run his business. So yeah. he's like, "I've got this idea. I can hire a developer and build this package out for all all inclusive, one stop shop for running the the, the software for or si running the system software for your dealership." And through that, seemed like a small thing for him, but has hit the industry and been growing over the last two years. And that's how these things start is that one little thing that, you know, we're kind of frustrated with this. How do we fix this? Little thing on your website. Now, that's 
development, UI, UX, yes. that, that whole ecosystem, right? So it's not a little thing, but to the outsider that doesn't know that, oh, look, they added a dealership tab or a search tool. But that's so impactful for the dealerships. Absolutely. So, and that's, that, that's really cool. So what else, what else do you have going on? Um, yeah, so, so we've got that going on. And some of the other things that we'll be working on, honestly, is just going to be more customer experience. And how can we make the customer experience better? That's something that we're always looking at. Um, how can we, I, I want to be able to give my customers quick answers, quick answers. We're always trying to improve on that. We're uh, from our website to how we handle customer service. These are all things that we're going to be putting even more of an emphasis on because that, that's, that's a lot of brand, right? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, then, and then, of course, what you put into your trailers. So the, those are probably the two biggest things that, that I'm focused on right now. Um, and then uh, just internal branding because, like you said, it is a big focus for us to have happy employees, happy uh, people who want to be uh, a part of Diamond C for a long time. And you talked about it. You talked about the uh, softball tournament. So that's something that we do. We have different tournaments that raises money. It's called the DCEFF Fund. So what happens is, it, let's say that you're um, you come down with cancer, right? And you don't have the money to make these payments, and something's going wrong, and you and you're about to lose your house. This is where we can dip into our funds at Diamond C that we've raised through all these softball tournaments through all the volleyball tournaments, through the kickball tournaments. I did not help, know y'all did that. And help you make that That's payment. That's awesome. I so. mean, I'm just follically challenged. I don't have cancer, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's one of the beautiful things about y'all. Y'all aren't just product innovation. Y'all dive so deep into culture. Yes. Um, and that starts at the top. Absolutely. And I, I know I follow y'all on LinkedIn and Facebook, and I see these posts about, you know, so-and-so has been with us for 20 years. Uh, uh, Jacob and Jeffrey, their, their parents are still involved. You know, yes. they, they, they took over, but they're still involved. They're still there giving input. They're not just kicked out the door. And then yes. just the small stuff, like I did uh, uh, paletas or, or uh, popsicles for the workers on, I think it was a Wednesday or on a Tuesday and it was hot outside and I, I got all the workers outside popsicles. And I mean, it's the small stuff that shows that you care to your employee on simple stuff like that, that a lot of people just overlook, oh, they don't care about that. No, yeah. it's, hey, we care. Yeah, We absolutely. know it's hot. Take a quick five, 10 minute break, enjoy your popsicle, cool off. So we have, we have another, uh, I have an idea for another competition or tournament y'all can do okay so in 2020 y'all had red trailers last year y'all had blue trailers uh -huh. i was talking with juan last week i was like what color trailers are they going to have this year and we went through some colors and okay. i said white he's like nah they're not going to do white that's gonna be too hard <laughs> to keep playing i was going i said red white blue i was like they're gonna they're gonna do an American theme. They're very patriotic. Really white, yeah, very yeah. patriotic. I, I said stark white. That's what they're going to go with. I walked up and I was like, I should have put money on that. Yeah. So we're, we, we need to start a pool. Okay. And it can go into the DCEFF fund. Yes. You know, $10, $10 an entry. What color are we going to do? Yeah. And then the first person that gets the, like the, the, the winning choice, the first submission for that, you know, throw them a hundred bucks. The rest of it goes into the fund. And that helps that culture, helps the dynamic and helps the brand. I love Are we it. down? Yeah, I love it, Let's man. Let's do it. I think it's great. I think it's a great idea. Brian, did, uh, did you record that? Yeah, yeah, Brian, please make note of that. <laughs> <laughs> so last year they did blue. Yep. Dynamic blue. Yeah, dynamic yep, blue. Dynamic blue. Custom made from Sherlyn Williams yep. to match the Diamond Team brand. Yep. What made y'all go with white this year? What's the what's the mentality behind choosing? Because it, oh, it's all a game plan. I asked him this. I asked him this. It's the one time he can paint trailers whatever color he wants and not have to try to sell them afterwards because these are the show models. People are going to want these. I asked him that question. I was like, how do you decide? He's like, Hot I wanted white trailers. I was like, only you can get away with that, right? <laughs> Crab Brothers, do hot pink next time. Let's see how, how many we can do get away with. You, you trying to test your influence? Come yeah. on, Crab. Come on. <laughs> hot pink. I just throw a ribbon on and they'll sell like yeah. hotcakes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, th those whites, th they're going to be easy to sell. Yeah. Man, th those are some clean looking trailers. And also, Thanks, we just got done um, 
with a session with Gen Y. Okay, yeah. And y'all are using their new Snap Snap Latch? Yep, Snap Latch uh, Torsen Coupler. Yeah. 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 yeah, so um, we were talking about the cone, right? Yep. Uh, oh, what did I say? Um, oh, I made some snarky name for it because he, he's like, we don't have a name for that. And we busted out laughing. I can't remember it. Dang it. Should have wrote it down. I know, I should have. Should have trademarked it, then give it to, given it to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and honestly, I, I always like their names and their branding, right? Because they, they've got like Spartans, yes. things like that, right? Yeah. So, so they, I they always do saw a great one of those job. in person uh, maybe eight months ago. We had one come through our shop yeah. uh, that we ordered for a customer. So that, is massive. Yeah, I, I'm not a weak guy, but I'm not like, oh, look at that over there or anything. I could barely pick that thing up. Yes. That thing was a beast. Solid. Yes. If you break that, you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. Or you're, you're doing it wrong or you're doing it extremely right, one yeah. of the two. Yes. You know, oh, my, my hydraulics don't work. Did you overload it? No. <laughs> Did you break the Spartan? Yeah. Did What were you doing? Nothing I wasn't supposed to. It was kind of a road. <laughs> yeah. So you know, exactly. what, what trailers y'all brought this year to the show? Yeah, so uh, this year, two of the newest ones that we brought were our DET, which is our deck over tilt, and our DOD, which is our deck over dump. So we, we brought eight trailers, but those are the two that have uh, the newest features, right? They're the ones that we're doing kind of complete refreshes on. Um, so first for our, our deck over dump, that's something that, uh, honestly, if you look in the industry, deck over dumps, pr pretty much the same, yeah. right? They, they, they all look the same. Um, all have those sides that everyone hates to yeah. handle. They're super heavy. Um, and then we also got some feedback from our dealers that uh, people think they're, they're really heavy, but also they, they appear pretty flimsy. So we took that as a challenge. We, uh, we beefed them up a little bit more, added some, uh, uh, we're calling it the easy latch sides, and it uh, works just like, a, just like a handle on a, a trunk does, right, on your truck. So you just drop it down now with one hand instead of having to have two people handle one side. You know, uh, nice. I think first time I saw them was uh, Gator Made Trailers. The, the, their mammoth ramps yeah. that you can lift with a finger yeah. and then put back with a finger. That's the challenge for those dump sides. Yes. Do it. Yeah. So, I mean, I, that's what I've been doing so far is showing people how I can just lift it with one hand. That's right? insane. And close it. So, so the, we've got that going on for it. Um, uh, it's moving to an engineered beam uh, uh, for a the, frame. The 2.0? Uh, yes. Yeah, it'll have the same 2.0 <laughs> technology that we have for our FMAX built right into our DODs. Uh, so that, that goes into the frame and also for the next, for the, for the gooseneck version. Uh, same thing for the DET. Neither one of them, it was one of the last things that we had that was an engineered beam and engineered neck. Both of them will be now. Uh, we have that huge extra storage space. In the front of the DET. I'll say that is what I <laughs> love about y'all's trailers, y'all's bumper pools, is the storage space. Just the yeah. amount, even on the dump trailers, you still, you have your pump, which is always takes up all your space. Yeah. But then you still have, heck, the size of that couch to put whatever you need. And that's very important because from safety chains, ratchet straps, whatever tools you're needing to get the job done, you still have the space to lock them up. I yeah. don't have to worry about getting them stolen. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll be honest, uh, I have had to get inside of more of those, uh, more of the front of those toolboxes than I would care to admit <laughs> to kind of demonstrate just how big Hold they on. are. We're about to make this mobile. We're about to, we got to have footage of this. So we can, uh, can, can well, you close the top while you're in there? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So if Kate disappears. He's on the floor napping in one of those. Yeah. <laughs> correct. Correct. Uh, there's definitely enough space to fit me. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm well aware of. <laughs> oh, yeah. last, time, last time I saw one of y'all's trailers go through Madisonville, I was at Bucky's. Of course. And I rarely go to the back pumps because it's such a far walk inside. Yeah. But everything was full. I came up and parked. And next thing I know, this black F-450 with... 40 something foot gooseneck deck over saw the diamond sea logo and then i saw two of the sherpas like those the, the russian all-terrain like swamp buggy boat two of those right next to each other i'm like snap <laughs> well, <laughs> Sent to the crab brothers where was that madisonville 
those Sherpas weren't going to you, were they? No. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> when you get one, let me know, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But what amazed me is when, when you do see a Diamond Sea trailer just at a gas station or anywhere, the amount of people just like, walk around and just take start looking at it and admiring to work on it. So it's awesome. Yeah. No. We're I, not fanboys at, no, at all. At <laughs> all. Hey, I, I, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and then some of the other things that we had uh, at the booth, you kind of saw uh, the new badging that we have on the trailers, uh, automotive grade. Mm-hmm. So it looks really just like the sticker that you would have on your car with like a, like a Ford or Chevy emblem, right? It's going to be something that's heavy duty, so that's so, something that you can't just spray off, right? Right. Uh, mm-hmm. When you're cleaning your trailer, you don't accidentally just knock off a part of the uh, part of the logo, right? Yeah. Nice. So it's one of those things where it's like um, we. You know, yes, I, I do consider us a premium brand, and you, you want that premium look, right? Yep. So it's something that uh, we're going to integrate there. And then uh, another cool thing that we're rolling out this year is our all-new wiring harnesses. Uh, the modular ones, right? The modular <laughs> wiring harnesses. I saw that the other day. Yes, sir. That, that, that was, it was a, uh, I guess, on a piece of, a piece of steel, all like, you yes. had the lights and all the wires, and you push the button. You can disconnect this, put it there, and yep, that that was, that's pretty slick. Yep, no no more crimping and uh, trying to get the right length and everything else right. So this is all going to be plug and play, uh, corrosion proof, and this is going to go into our brakes too, right? Because that's that's a lot of time where you get a lot of yeah. the corrosion. So you're going to start making that's... some for some motorcycles, maybe some old hot rods. <laughs> you know, let's get ind- industry adjacent here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep it all the same. Yeah, so that's that's something else that we're that we're really excited about. That's cool. Well, hey, Cade, it's been a pleasure. Absolutely, guys. You know, uh, Appreciate the time. No Brian problem. didn't want to join us over here. You know, he's he well, likes being behind the camera, I guess. I, I was about to say, so if you see a lot of the videos with the, with the trailer nerd, uh, Jacob Crabb, my man Brian is behind the scenes. He has done a great job, and he, he's a thing for a lot of the, the growth in the brand, right? Brian has had a heavy, a heavy hand in that. I mean, he's only been interning for three years, <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe they might keep you. Who knows? Um, but no, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoy the show. We're definitely going to bug y'all some more. I need some more caffeine. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, Hats. Yeah. Socks. Already got them. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's been a pleasure, and we always love seeing what y'all do, and y'all keep up the good work. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Well, and appreciate the time with you guys. Awesome. All right. Until next time, guys. Bye.